Well, hello there. Today we've got a little project that I've never done before. Watched some videos on it, whatever. But I've found this piece of granite for free that I picked up, had it in the back of my pickup for the last several weeks. And I've got it out here, I've got some uses for it. Actually, I've got, I'm going to cut a piece to use as the uh, counter next to the sink in the shop. And then I'm going to cut a piece, so I'm going to make that cut first. And then I'm going to cut a piece for a backsplash. And then I'll take the other remaining piece and use that for another project that I have going. But first of all, I did a little test cut on a small little piece of granite I had yesterday. And I'm using this old Porter Cable circular saw that I had. And I've got a DeWalt dry wet diamond blade that'll cut, uh, it actually cut the, uh, the granite yesterday pretty well. And you might ask what this little bucket's for here. That is gonna be my watering system to get a little water on this blade as I'm cutting it. Now, how am I gonna do that? Well, uh, yesterday when I was cutting, I was just going along and I was holding the, a little siphon down here right next to the blade. And that worked okay, but I wasn't able to really control the saw well. So what I did is I had a piece of quarter inch brake line tubing and cut a little piece, I don't know if you can see it there or not, that fits in the, the guide here that slides back and forth. It's not there, I just got a piece of eighth inch by half flat bar and I rounded it or uh, bent it over there a little bit to form a little bit of a bracket there. And then I have another little bracket right here that pinches down using the exact same bolts that hold the edge guide in. And so then, got me some hose here, started to siphon, as you can see. And if I put that on there like that, it should start putting some water right down there where it needs to go. So now, I think we're all set up. I got my edge guide on here, put our PPE on, and see what we can do here. Okay, let's see how we did here. Put a little water on that to clean it off. I think we did pretty darn good here. We made a very nice cut there. Now I had a couple pieces underneath both sides uh, all the way along here, so it gave me a little extra space there and it didn't flop down when I cut through it. But I am pretty darn pleased with that. Now, I've got one more cut, and I've got to figure out exactly where that's going to be so I don't mess this up. Because I've only got one piece of granite, and don't want to mess it up. Well, I think we've got another pretty nice cut here. We're doing this for the first time. A couple of tips for those of you out there that might be wondering. I do have this plugged in to a protected uh, GFI circuit, so we're good on that score. Take the water supply out of here, put it back in the bucket. I did get off of my cut line just a shade. My guide stick here moved just a smidgen, but so I'm probably off, I'm gonna guess by a 16th maybe, something on that order. But uh, I think it'll be just fine because it's gonna be hidden uh, behind anyway and I can correct that either. If I have to polish it off, I can do that, but I think I'll be okay. Okay, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a up close look at the water setup I made for my circular saw here. As you can see, I've got the piece of 
brake line tubing just comes down at Bennett and it comes around here and it's probably about three-eighths of an inch or so from the blade right there and I made this little bracket just pinches it down here into the area that rip guide normally would go into tube comes around the front and I made another little bracket that fits over here again using the exact same thumb screws that hold that rip guide in just to keep the, the tube down there nice and steady and it's it's in there pretty good so like I said earlier the only thing I might do to improve it would be to maybe put a valve on it or something like that if I need to cut down the water flow but I think it worked worked just fine well here are the pieces that we cut we've got them all cleaned up now right here this was one cut and I think that one went pretty good I originally thought that I had my mark had been off a little bit but I just checked these measured them up and they are right on the money so I think I must have just been seeing something on my mark anyway so here was uh, this was a cut here on this side that turned out real nice this one right here this is gonna be my backsplash and it's gonna go it's gonna fit right in here but that'll be another video but that's where it's gonna go the backsplash is gonna go back down back there and actually I'm thinking that I might be able to take enough off of this one to still have enough for my other project and then have a backsplash a side splash there if I need to have one so we'll see hope this video was helpful it was kind of interesting for me to do this for the first time my little water supply thing here works pretty good maybe the next time I what I could do is add a valve to it because I probably don't need quite as much water in there as I've got but uh, overall worked pretty darn well anyway hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment subscribe hit that subscribe button right now I guess it would be right there uh, well, I'll get back to you when I get to, to the next project here where I actually put the countertop piece on with the backsplash and then as I said we're going to use this piece for another project I got going. Keep coming back to the channel, we've got some good stuff going on here.